The area are clear after the snowstorm, but some sidewalks are still a snowy mess. News 4's Emma Hogue explains some homeowners could face a fine for not shoveling. Well, of course, you want your sidewalk to look clear like this, but earlier we saw someone jogging along the street, and that's probably because a lot of sidewalks still look like this. And if yours does, you'll want to get to work, grab that shovel, or else you could be facing a pretty hefty fine. I like the snow, and I kind of like the cold. So Jaden Bowman doesn't mind spending his Sunday shoveling his grandparents' driveway and sidewalk. If they needed to leave, I wouldn't want to see them like slip or fall and get injured or like hurt. His grandma is recovering from an arm procedure and his grandpa Von Morrill still healing from a knee replacement surgery. If there's not a clear sidewalk, it makes it much more difficult to get around. An Olivet City Ordinance meant to help people of all ages and conditions walk around safely following a snow event. It's a good ordinance because it makes the makes the sidewalk passable for uh, pedestrians. Property owners must shovel within 24 hours after snowfall. If not, they could face a fine of up to $100. I don't like to, uh, I don't want to slip and fall. No, I like to be stable on my feet. News 4 found out the same regulation applies in most Missouri cities, but time frames and penalties can vary. In Illinois, property owners aren't required but encouraged to shovel sidewalks and other walkways. It just helps out so that you, there's a less chance of like you hurting yourself. A chore Jaden hopes will help his grandparents and others in the neighborhood. I just think it's safer. If and a simple way to say thank you. Shoveling the snow is kind of just a little bit based on how much they do for me. In Olivet. It just feels like I'm giving back to them. Emma Hogue, News.